The next point <coughs> about arthritis and takayas or takayas or arthritis uh, is often called the pulseless disease, takayasu arthritis, because it can cause the pulseless in a young person, in a young person's arm to completely vanish. Just an invisible attack. So the decrease in autoimmune process where the body's own immune system attacks the aorta and its major branches. This causes massive inflammation, thickening the artery walls and gradually strangling them from the inside out. So really it's a diagnostic nightmare. For months or years, the patient, and typically a woman under 40, suffers from vague symptoms like fatigue, fever, weight loss, these are so far misdiagnosed and as infection or I, I don't know, rheumatological issue, actually it's a rheumatological issue. So the shocking physical exam, <clears throat> the true nature of the disease is revealed during a routine physical exam. So doctor tries to take the patient's blood pressure in their arm and gets a reading that extremely low, even zero. They cannot feel a radial pulse. They might think their equipment is, I don't know, broken. So the great deception. But when they take the blood pressure in the patient's leg, they find it dangerously high. Well, for example, 200, 110 mercury, no, 2011 mercury. So the huge difference in blood pressure between the arms and legs is the classic clue. The inflammation has so severely narrowed the subclavian arteries and the branches that supply the arms, of course, that very little blood can get through, little, very little blood can get through, hence the pulses, pulselessness. Meanwhile, the kidneys also start of blood and screaming for uh, more pressure, causing severe systemic hypertension in the lower part, in the lower body. So the shock is the surreal, surreal clinical plistic, surrealistic, absolutely surreal clinical picture. A young, seemingly healthy person can be walking around with unrecordable blood pressure in their arms, a condition that would slightly uh, signify death in, all, in all, almost any other context. It's a profound and dramatic physical sign of hidden smoldering war against the body's largest artery, my beloveds.